hello guys welcome to another video i'm glad you decided to check this out today i'm shooting from my workspace so i just wanted to show you guys where i usually work if you are new to the channel my name is frederick i'm currently a master's in public administration student at the university of kentucky of course an international student i also double as the research assistant for the kentucky transportation center now in this video we are going to talk about scholarships and how to find them now listen a very important component of studying abroad is to get funding or scholarships. The question is, how do you find them? Now, if you're looking for something and you know where to find it, then it makes it easier. Listen, and, and trust me, if you know where to search, this saves you a lot of time. As usual, this is the Fred effect. Come with me. The last time I checked, technically, there are about seven 0.8 billion people on the planet. I believe there are more opportunities on Earth than even the number of humans the, we have. The point is that there are a lot of scholarship opportunities out there, but how do you find them? Now, I got you covered in this video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through 14 different websites where you can find um, scholarship and apply to at any point in time. I'm going to tell you the names of the website. Of course, I'll share the link to this website in the YouTube video description so you can check it out at any point in time. I'm going to tell you how you could navigate and find a proper website to fund your um, education abroad. Now, if this is your first time here, I would entreat you to be part of the um, Fred Effect family. Click on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell, and also like this, this video if you like it and then share your thoughts, your questions with me. I also want to hear from you, which website do you search for scholarships in the comment section? Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go into it. So guys, real quick, let's begin with, um, the website so i have 14 different websites that i'm going to share with you so the first one is opportunities for youth.com so opportunities for youth.org so i will share the links to all these websites um, under the youtube video description so if you want to find out any of them just go to the youtube video description and check it out so if you Go on to this website. Of course, definitely you can scroll down to look at all the current opportunities that are available and you would want to click on the opportunities available. So there is a education section. And of course, because of the pandemic, there is opportunities during the COVID era as well. There are grants, there are conferences, there are competitions, jobs and internships and also volunteering. So our focus is on education. So we click on the education and then we come to whichever level. Is it a master's, PhD, bachelor's? So I will click on master's and let's see what, what, what comes. So here they are scholarships for master's degree programs. And this one says apply for 2022-2023 cohort of Anand Fellowship for Climate Action. And it's a fully funded opportunity. If you scroll down in Australia, they ha there is the Australia Government Scholarships for International Students, which is fully funded. So you can click on it, try to find out, um, these are ads, which, okay. So you can click on it and try to find out um, about the opportunity, how you qualify, how you can apply and all that there the requirement and the criteria for selection and all that. So there are a lot of them here. I would want to quickly move on to the second one. There is a DART scholarship opportunity here, which is funded by the German government or the Dutch government. So let's move on to the second website. And <laughs> interestingly, all of them starts with opportunity. So there is also opportunitydesk.org, opportunitydesk.org. And over here at their homepage, you scroll down and there are a lot of scholarship opportunities to look at. Um, we click on the scholarship button and you can see undergrad, PhD, master's. So this time, well, let's go to the undergrad. I don't know why this um, really pops up all the time. So there is there's an opportunity for the um, 
Turkey Government Scholarship for Students Worldwide, the Columbia University Scholarship as well. Um, there's a Generation Gogo Scholarship. And so there are a lot of opportunities here, guys, to find out. So um, if we go to this, the third one, I want to, I, w I don't want this video to be very long, so I would want to rush through since I've shared the links in the YouTube video description you can check out. And if you have any questions, just share them with me in the comment section. Going to the third one, this is opportunities for Africans. And so um, if you're in any part of the African country, then this is a, a good website to be searching for scholarships. So let's go to the scholarship section and I click on masters. If I click on masters, there is a joint Japan World Bank graduate scholarship program 2022-2023 for developing countries. And so it's also fully funded. If you scroll down, there are other scholarship opportunities that you can check out. Um, I would highly appreciate if you click on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell, and also like this video. Let's go to the fourth one. Number four, we have um, scholarships365.info. Now, if you, if, if, if you get the drift, there are 365 days in a year. So I think this, that is how this website was named. So there are a lot of scholarship opportunities, even at their homepage. You do not necessarily have to go through the normal button scholarships and internship fellowships. So if you check their homepage, there's the University of Bristol, Think Big Scholarship 2022. There's a, um, the Canadian Scholarship, University of Alberta Scholarship, Abu Dhabi University Scholarships, which are, which are all fully funded. Quickly, let's move on to the fourth website. On the fourth website, it's also called Opportunity. So, um, Oya Opportunity, Opportunities.com. That is O-Y-A-O-P.com. Or yeah, opportunities.com. So over here too, there are a lot of scholarships. There's a fully funded volunteering opportunities at the United Nations, which is awesome. And um, if I click on the scholarship and fellowships, this is what I get. Now, I, I love this. I, you are able to um, filter through the, the, the many scholarships that are available and find which one, especially which region you want to. So if you want to go to the US, um, the UK, Turkey, Singapore, um, whichever country, Mexico, um, Finland, and Egypt, Ethiopia. So you are able to select whichever country you want. And also, interestingly, there are deadlines, right? So depending on what time and scholarship you want to apply for, you, you would want to search through the deadlines, um, which are very close uh, so that you can prepare yourself and apply. And the, and the category of scholarship too could be searched here. And then um, the funding type, is it partially funded? Is it fully funded? And all that. So this, I think I love this website. Let's look at the next one, which is scholarship for development. So scholars, um, for dev.com and these are also these are also the available scholarships on this website so i just click on the home page and you see all the scholarships available so you can also navigate through um the, the one page could only show you only a few scholarships so you need to click through and then interestingly if you scroll down you'll be able to check out all the other you know fields that you could get scholarships to study so you can check agriculture forestry fisheries and you know economics education engineering health this is awesome so if you are interested in journalism there are scholarships in that aspect that you can look at and the place of study if you want to study in south africa if you want to study in malaysia philippines australia canada belgium france you, you could simply select the kind of country and it indicates you know the number of scholarships available on this website in each of these countries this is awesome um guys let's look let's move on so we go to another scholarship website which is um scholarshubafrica.com scholarshubafrica.com so um there are also 
numerous scholarships available and you can filter th through this you know so you can look for undergraduate bachelor's degree scholarships you can also opt for masters that is if you want to study MBA awesome and then you can also look at the PhD or postdoc academic and then there are also competitions so if you look at this there is a um, the entrance scholarship for African students at University of Ottawa in Canada 2022 and there are a lot of them here so um, guys check this one out let's go to the next one which is um, the scholarship.com it says it all so a scholarship.com and of course just like I said I will share that all the links so you don't have to struggle to find them you just click on it it will take you to the particular website you're looking for so there is also a fully funded musical scholarship there's the University of Oregon scholarship that is awesome the Hispanic scholarship there are a lot of them over here so guys that is it there's a Qatar government scholarship and then when you click on it, it takes you to the website there's a USA Fulbright scholarship as well so that is um, a scholarship.com website for you and uh, just like the other website you can select the category if you want a scholarship the region I mean the specific country you want to go and study and then the funding type whether it's fully funded um, it's partially funded or and then interestingly you can also get the deadlines over here and then the opening dates are also here so you can filter and then click on explore to look at you know all the opportunities available so at any point in time it doesn't matter um, so usually people think that you would have to wait for a specific date to start applying for school um, unlike most African countries um, the Western world has sometimes three different admission cycles you know for example in the US they, there is a normal semester which is the fall semester the spring semester and then there's also a summer semester so at any point in time there are a lot of opportunities available the most important thing is knowing where to search exactly so um let's go to opportunities corners so this this is another awesome website opportunities corners dot info so you come here and then of course at the home page interestingly at the home page you can see a lot of fully funded scholarships so fully funded scholarships to study in Canada there is a fully funded scholarship in Germany um, there is a list of you know fully funded American scholarships and awesome stuff here so you click on scholarships and of course it takes you to all the scholarships available that you can take your time and navigate through to search which one you know fits your interest so there's a scholarship scholarship in Australia for 2022 without IELTS this is awesome and it's fully funded you do not need any English proficiency to um, to apply to the scholarship so the next one is scholarship positions right so um, on this website All right, so I was having a little bit of challenge. Of course, finally it opened. So on scholarship position, this is a very popular website. I'm sure most of you know this. So um, it gives you the opportunity to type in your name and email so that when any scholarship is being posted, they, they will simply send you an email that, hey, this, there's this scholarship available. Would you want to apply? This is awesome. So um, if you get to their homepage, there is, um, there is a France scholarship, there's Australian scholarship, there's a Poland scholarship, Norway, New Zealand, Ireland, you know. So you can click on any of these countries and then when you scroll down a bit, international awards are available and all that. Scholarship positions is one of the, the popular websites that most people know about. Awesome. So let's move on. Um, the next one is steadyportals.com. Steadyportals.com. And so um, as usual, you can scroll through and find all the scholarships available and then also you can navigate and then click on whichever level you want to study if it's a bachelor's degree if it's a master's degree or maybe a phd that you want to study so moving on um i i love i love this website that we are coming to so um th there is a Ghanaian lady her name is barbara in canada and what she did was to create a database i will share a link to her youtube video um in the in the in the youtube video description kindly check her out this is awesome so um 
she has a database that she has compiled all the you know various scholarships available and so i'm going to go in a little bit so if you click on the link that of course i'll post in the youtube video description you would see all the scholarships available now i love it when you are able to navigate to the the country you want to go to the deadline um, the level of study, either being bachelor's, master's, or PhD, and then um, you also see the deadlines that you know you need to submit your application. This is awesome. So let's click on by country and see. So by country, if I click on this, um, um, let's quickly scroll down. So there's Sweden, there is Australia, there is Germany, there is Ireland, and this is awesome. It gives you the deadlines and the link to to click on to apply and all that and and the disciplines so are you interested in robotics electro um, electronics biology economics um architecture civil engineering food science you know and and all that so um there is also scholarships in france denmark norway and finland this is awesome so this this was compiled by um a ghanaian lady who is currently pursuing her phd her name is barbara in you know canada now let's move on to the last two this is amacad you know um dot info interesting website so over here i click on opportunities and then i click on scholarships then it takes me to all the scholarships stipends and bursaries are available one thing that um, you know has to do with scholarship is that apart from paying your tuition and other stuff, they give you stipends maybe based on the work that they will give you to do and all that. So this is interesting. There's a Korean government scholarship, um, and there's also the Finnish government that is Finland, fin uh, the Finnish government scholarship, um, which is awesome. Let's go to the last one, guys. I don't want this video to be very long, so I want to quickly rush through this. So freestudy.com, that is an, the last website I'm going to talk about, freestudy.com, the name speaks for itself. So there are a lot of scholarship opportunities available on this website as well. And, and you know, guys, most of these websites could share the same type of, you know, scholarship being, uh, being made available. And so you could find one scholarship in almost all of these um, websites. And, and that makes it very legit that you, you should probably check out. So, so I believe that this video has been edu educative and, you know, I've been able to help you navigate not to search, do so much search or work, but to help you find the right website to go to in order to find a scholarship that you are looking for. Just like I said, I'm going to share the links to all these websites in the YouTube video description. Now talking about find, if you find this content useful, please click on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and also share your thoughts and comments with me. Now remember, you do not necessarily have to use all these websites. The whole idea is to give you options to choose from. Now I hope by watching this video you find the right scholarship to fund your education abroad. Now as always, this has been the Fred Effect.